The prince cleansed himself in the waters of the fountain. <gasps> Though returned to a normal body, the same could not be said for his mind. Babylon is better off in Zervan's hands. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Do you see now? The change was physical, nothing more! Why should I believe you? Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back. For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this. You do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you.
my youth, I would often lose myself in the back alleys of the upper city. I spent hours running, tumbling, imagining myself all manner of creatures. The rooftops and passageways were secret windows onto other worlds. But now everything has changed. The color bled away, and the sounds of life replaced by a heavy stillness. It has all gone dark and bitter. is close. Let us at last be on our way. The prince was finally forced to accept the fact that Pharaoh was lost to him, and that he alone was responsible for this. Had he not hidden the truth from her, had he shown more compassion, then perhaps things may have gone much longer. But now it is simply too late. In spite of this, or perhaps because of it,